Hello everyone, it is a beautiful spring day today and my pear tree is blooming. Check out these beautiful flowers. It is quite windy today, so I'm just a little afraid that if I don't do this vlog today, tomorrow that might not have a lot of flowers left, but I came home yesterday and they looked pretty open, but today they're just looking stunning. I'm just so, so excited. We're so lucky that we have this pear tree right behind here in our backyard. It was already here when we moved in. When I started this channel a year ago, I was mainly guarding the front yard of this building. This is a rental apartment here in New York City. It is divided into a few units and we moved to the back of the same building in January. If you seen the garden tours for last year you would see me mainly showing the front yard and the pot garden and the plot is just around the corner for me it is in the same neighborhood i was planning to do a little mini garden tour today just to show everything but the wind is not collaborating with me here, here today as much so i'm just going to do a little quick update instead look how much these lettuces have all grown here especially these two guys they were overwintered so this one over here I think it's bolting, so it's going to seed. It is quite big. I haven't really harvested from it yet, but you can see you see that it's in this center stock here. And I will probably harvest it soon to eat. And this one here was also overwinter, the two biggest ones. I don't know if this one's gonna bolt out, but probably will too. But they're looking just so pretty. The bok choy has grown not as much as I thought it would have been by now, but it's been growing a bit. This lettuce is looking beautiful. I love the color. This is the Merlot lettuce. Those two I don't know because I actually bought them in the farmer's market last year. It was just a mixed lettuce pack and those guys here all are looking nice. This one here was also from the same lettuce pack. It's also overwintered and it's getting really big. So I'm definitely harvesting these outer leaves soon. And this is for their little Hudson Valley Seed Co. salad mix. We also have some peas coming along here. I have put this little thing here to act as a trellis. And those are the magnolia tender peas. They have this very pretty tendrils. But they have sprouted, they're looking good. And I hope that they catch here. And they, they grow really tall, so I gave this nice sturdy trellis for them. Some more peas and radishes here in the small pot. I'm curious to see how they would do. And check this out, all the shies have these little flower bulbs. I love shy flowers. So can't wait to, for them to open. The wind is actually really picking up so I'm just going to show you guys my green stalks down here and some of my potted brassicas that are doing really well. Look how much those guys have grown especially this over here. This brown one this is the one I planted a little video about it and it is getting kind of crazy. Not all of them are growing at the same rate. You can see there are a few things in the side here a little smaller. I'm okay with that but these guys that I planted actually those, those little seedlings that I planted a few weeks I don't remember maybe a month ago they are doing really good these two here have bolted I have said before they are not the end of it actually we are eating those little flowers stems so they're like a block broccoli wrap I guess it is really good it's like kale so I cut this one here and then it's sending more so we're just gonna keep eating this and this purple one also has it so I'm gonna harvest some this weekend and check out this mint here is totally taking over my green stock deer check this out so just a little warning if you're growing mint it can be very invasive and it will take over everything this one Last year it was fine, but it just came back now and it's just taking over everything. Woo! Got that. I'm considering actually moving this tier all the way to the bottom of this green stock because I don't want those roots to kind of go and everything and have a whole mint planter. I said before that I wouldn't mind, but the season is just starting, so I really do want to use, use these pockets for other things. So I might try to find some time to move this tear down and see if I can kind of contain this mint here a bit. One more thing in this green stock here is this cabbage. It's looking very nice too. Not as big as the one down there that I showed previously. This one is really big but they're planting at the same time. 
but that one down there I think it was receiving more sunlight earlier I went ahead and planted the rest of my Napa cabbages on these buckets over here and I have just noticed that some bugs have actually started showing up look at this it looks like it's slug damage I'm gonna go ahead and remove this leaf but it has all these showings over here I don't see a caterpillar underneath so I think it's from slugs and it's on this one too and on that one I'm just gonna take that out take the bottom leaves out hopefully this guy will do okay over here everybody else is looking fine and this one is really growing a lot I think this one gets more sun too the overwintered peppers are doing good they have moved them down here now that they have got a bit more acclimated to the sun and even this guy here they only have a stem now he's putting up some new leaves I can't remember if he was already putting leaves up in the last vlog that I filmed they have some other seedlings acclimating here a lot of these flowers have germinated those are all zinnias this is a cut flower mix I got from Hudson Valley Seed Co I can only recognize a few of these seedlings I know this is a cosmos that looks like zinnias too this is a borge I think this is a snapdragon I'm not sure but I don't know what those are so we'll see and we have this kale here growing so big getting so big cauliflower and the broccoli here too those are I started this one from seed this one's over winter from last year and some more peas those are growing really really nicely those little nice little tendrils there and there are some more peas on that side a couple more seedlings in here i started this with the flowers and that big tray where is the tag this is the Chinese broccoli and I think this is the, the shoy sum. Yeah, so let's see how they're doing this pot here and there's more peas over here and some more things in the pot. Now the canapa cabbage, that one's finally picking up. The pink celery, it's growing nicely too, finally starting to get a little bigger. And I have this stuff here in this pot that I have no idea what it is. It looks like I planted this because there's four and they are kind of like evenly spaced out like this but I really can't remember and obviously there's not a tag and I never grew anything like this before so I'm not really sure I do that sometimes I think I probably haven't even put seeds there last fall and sometimes I don't label it thinking that I'm gonna remember and then I never remember so this season at least now in the spring I'm trying to be better about labeling everything and finally I have potted all of my tomato seedlings there are some that are living here and there are some that are still inside I used the cups like I said I was going to use the solo cup some of them are not looking super good some of them are all right but let's see how they would do I'll take them inside tonight because I don't want them to get too cold and this is still the tray that I had the flowers and some of the brassicas in the back but everything is looking nice the nasturtiums are getting really big they will still stay here until it gets a bit warmer I probably only transplant them out in May but they have a nice little pot there so I hope that they'll hold up well there's a few other things that I have here but I guess it's been working out well this is kind of a shady spot in here which is good so if I feel that the plants are getting too much sun on the table back there I will just put them here and they usually just they've been doing fine so I'm happy with it but so far so good it's been working fine it's a nice uh, size and hopefully when the nights warm up a little bit more I'm gonna transfer my eggplants my peppers and my tomatoes all here one more thing my raspberry is waking up that's exciting didn't bear any fruit last year but I'm hopeful that this year will do a little better the rest buds are not doing super great some things here are kind of like looking bad like this I don't know what's causing it but some are doing all right I have a few things they're still doing all right I said I was gonna take those out and ended up never doing it but look at this this peony here oops this broccoli just fell oh that guy's doing okay but this I think it's a peony it's it was here it just started it started these little red things coming out of the soil and now it just became this big uh, I didn't plant this this was here in this bed when we moved in so probably my previous neighbor did it but it's kind of cold that we're gonna have it but I have no idea what color it is I don't even know if it's a peony if it looks like a peony to you let me know in the comments below because I'd love to know and this here is starting to wake up too I don't know what it is as well so we'll see when the season goes what kind of, what that's going turning up to be and there's some more things coming up in the raised bed that I didn't plant this messy part here is actually I finally washed everything so all of these pots are washed I just put them down here upside down to dry 
I'm gonna go ahead and put them away right now in the greenhouse right after I finish this vlog and hopefully things are going to start looking a little nicer here with the days getting a little bit warmer it is I really want to spend more and more time in the garden so I can't wait to keep working and getting getting everything organized and I can do a proper garden tour so maybe this window is for a good thing I did maybe I should wait longer until I start filming everything with more detail but this will be it for today thank you so much for watching I am so happy that you are here with me and accompanying me in my journey I really appreciate all of you and I'll see you next time <music>